For you at six o'clock, we are just about two weeks away from the start of the 2020 legislative session. Of course, tolls have captured an awful lot of attention, but health care is also a big concern. Today, Senate Democrats discuss their top priorities and Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff has more on what they are. What we have seen, especially since 2012, is a, a, a significant annual increase uh, in the cost of insulin. Democrats would like to see a cap so that no diabetic would pay more than $100 a month and that patients would be able to easily access emergency supplies. They also want to reduce prescription drug costs. When the cost of some of these medications is three, four, five hundred dollars $500, that's most of somebody's Social Security check. Another priority is a public option. This would be for businesses and residents who could buy into a state public health care plan. This was introduced last year, but it was complicated. People say, well, you know, Senator Lesser, you've got great insurance and it's affordable. Why not let other people buy the same coverage that you have? Republicans are raising concerns. The Senate Minority Leader says a public option could move our state closer to substandard coverage. It could also threaten thousands of middle class jobs in the insurance industry right here in Connecticut. Recreational marijuana is not part of this agenda, but it is something Democrats have supported. However, new research shows smoking pot can cause an abnormal heart rhythm, which can lead to a heart attack and even stroke. Right now it's available, you can, you, you, it's available on the street in any community in Connecticut. You can also drive across the border to Massachusetts. Um, and we've just heard the governors of Rhode Island and New York are moving to legalize it this year, uh, potentially New Jersey as well. Uh, it's available, and so the question is whether or not Connecticut's going to regulate it or not. Democrats say they're also concerned about protecting the Affordable Care Act and making sure that it doesn't go away here in Connecticut. Some 300,000 people in our state are covered by that. Democrats also say protecting the environment is important and taking a stand on PFAS. Those are the chemicals that are polluting our drinking water. In Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.